Good morning and welcome to the ongoing series of Be The Light Meditations. And I've, I've been aware on television, people get hooked on certain things, a certain day, a certain night. And I certainly hope uh, that the vibration and tools that we're bringing for you to be the light is helping you come back and tune in. We have so many choices now. For me, the most important thing in my entire life is to shed fear. The fear that I was born with, the fear I brought in from other lifetimes, the fear that I absorbed from my parents, the fear I absorbed from Miss Tassielli, my mean teacher, who used to take me like that around the room. Can you believe it? She actually grabbed my nose. Or was that Miss Klein? I always seemed to not be doing what authorities wanted me to do. Why? Because if you're like me, you looked around and you said, this place is wrong. I don't, I, they talk about love. They have rituals for love. They pretend these Valentines. The Christians go to church and then they cut each other off on the way home. That's an old standard joke, but it's true. So at a certain point in your life, you play along. Why? To get the goodies. So everybody likes you. They, you won't, they won't think that you're weird. But we're on the prepetus of an entire planetary change from fear base to love base. And chances are you've been playing both edges for a while. You've been trying it. We come out of meditations, our hearts are open. We want to stay in this state. And then wham, something comes in, punctures the bubble, takes our vibration down. Well, that's exhausting. And so we need to engage our will. And since we know we are going to be holding higher vibrations. It is our job. We are to become like, like beacon searchlights for others and to shed those vibrations. Uh, we're doing this uh, three-legged, three-week meditation series where last week we took a look at one of the main holding zones of your personal fears your patterning, your triggers, you know what the zones are. And when you come in, there are three strong, specific, kind of general fear things that you're holding, like not safe or can't trust people or mine is I'll never find home. Why? Because I'm born here. I feel like a visitor. I don't feel at home here. So you will have your own one, two, three. Last week we worked on one. Okay. So it may have started destabilizing some of your thinking, your patterns, and your ways of being in a way that can be just a little disconglomerating because your heart is opening. I've actually had a lot of back pain this week. My blood pressure goes up and I feel that I am vacillating and my heart's getting ready to crack open. Why? Because this stable thing of our fears and egos keeping into place this conundrum that holds us and everything we relate to in reality in place just lost one of its holding patterns. So we're beginning to get unstrung. But we're coming through with our will with scissors to remove vibrationally. Some of these old patterns that guess what? Many of them we absorbed innocently as vulnerable children. Okay, so that's the introduction of what we're going to do today. I have my sound instruments here set up and we're going to use them to help move some of this energy. So let's go. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. Take your attention down to your base chakra. And right now it's pre-holiday. No, it, we're in the holiday, in the thick of it. So let's ground some of that frazzled energy. Some of that should have done more. Should have called this person. For me, it was should I frost that last batch of cookies and decorate them? The answer was no. We must ground and take care of ourselves and let go of that exhaustive, <laughs> I 
unending to-do list to recreate the perfect Christmas. And Christmas is about love. Why not just show up with love? Why not just show up with what people really need and just glow it? The gift doesn't matter. The gift is love. Take another deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. So we ask and intend this sacred space by imagining putting yourself into a beautiful geometric structure. This structure holds just your energy field, which is your consciousness. And your consciousness, everything about you, and it knows what's best for you. So let's let your mind and your consciousness make a deal because your mind's going to have to buy in. It's directed by your ego, control at all costs. The consciousness is the big parent, and it is saying to that little controlling uh, tyrant of an adolescent in the universal scheme of intelligent, there's just little mind being. So we are going to put your mind on a chair. What represents your mind, your thinking, your ego, your control, electric energy gain, control, dominate, all fear-based. And you're going to let the consciousness of your true core of pure love sit in its natural, it's a golden velvet throne. Well, that's a funny thought because we have a golden velvet antique chair in our parlor room, which is the throne. I mean, the um, bathroom in our parlor room, we have a golden chair there. Maybe it's to get rid of all the old digested materials and let it come out. Uh oh, we're going too far in that direction. We're going to let go of the fear, which really is a bunch of crap. It's a bunch of stuff that is a waste product that continues to kind of poison and toxify what love wants to be present in. These toxins keep us at a certain vibration where we can't fully come in and embody the love. So I guess all these images are appropriate. You are sitting on your golden chair of release. And your consciousness, your brilliant consciousness that is connected to everything, does know the best thing for you, is having a eye to eye, heart to heart, come to Jesus, whatever, talk. The Buddha talk. Dear mind, you have kept me what you thought would be safe and directed into things on an old operating system, old school, old books. You don't understand. All those books were written by dead, gone frozen ideologies and visionaries. Everything is a new game today, mind, and you're going to have to defer to me. Your glorious consciousness that can keep you well, can keep you happy. You've had, you've been a tyrant, you've had enough reign of reigning this person's passion and ideas and visions in and making her or he or them afraid. We're going to let you stay within this person's energy field if you drop the fear. You've got these fear arrows that you send out all day long, and we are tired of being destabilized. And in fact, it's no longer going to be part of our operational system mind. So your mind must answer Your mind has a communication. We're going to give it a voice. Here we go. We are speaking as our mind. I now ask and intend to release the grip that I had over this 
divine being. I see it has outgrown my parameters and my knowledge. And I am sad and grieved to see what my fear is creating for you, in you, and through your life, and therefore adding to the collective consciousness of misalignment. I am choosing to redeem my courageous proper role as a significant supporter of your consciousness firmly connected and planted into God's truth, guided by trustworthy high vibration spiritual beings. I, the mind, am the black sheep, misguided, living outside the circle of the true home of love, inclusion, and collaboration, and I am tired of being the bad guy. I'm tired of being the one to tap on your shoulder and say, you don't want to do that when it truly is your life stream to do it. I've screwed up so much. And but know that my mind, just like our parents or partners, our mind did its best. Our higher consciousness is choosing now we forgive the antics and behaviors of our mind working on an old, antiquated, outdated system. We are releasing and accepting the resignation of our mind in the role that it has played. We are recasting our mind as a brilliant statistician, keeping track of numbers, dates, appointments, elegantly, effortlessly, and that our mind helps us catalog and synchronize information, important information, that our mind can help us recognize people and places and things, the true resonance and how they're connected, that our mind, unfettered by fear, is, is a whole new theater a whole new theatrical base, bringing in new people, new players, and a new story for myself, for all of us. The mind is the prodigal son, so talented and able to assist and support us that has been befuddled by the vibrations of fear. So we bless, we bring this long outside of the circle of love mind back in into the circle of love with all parts of ourselves to integrate i accept my mind's new peaceful role in my life without fear so take a deep breath and we're going to make sure that this actually occurs within every cell in your body we call in all the divine beings of light to hear be surrounding us now. And they're telling us to go into our very own cellular matrix where the chemicals and cellular patterns have had specific communication patterns for so long, often prompted, activated, and directed by the mind these stress chemicals, these levels of uh, dopamine and cortisol. We are changing all of the switchboard, all of the little buttons within the, your brain circuitry so that it is going back to absolute perfected balance, free of the fear program. We're deleting that aspect of your mind that was holding fear programming. We are releasing it from our upper chest. We ask and intend to release that pressure that we have felt over our heart and lungs for so long that it seems a natural part of us. 
We're asking that this thick insulation overlay that has held the expansion of our heart back to be peeled back by the spiritual divine beings with us here now. It is like an old thick holding rubbery blanket that has kept our love unfolded no folded up rather than unfolding take a deep breath and as this pressurized system is removed from your entire body that is like almost like a mummy shell but rubber grayish know that it was a protective your mind says i was trying to protect you with with what i knew with earth intelligence your entire beingness is now surrendering to a higher intelligence that is pulling off this big thick insulation from your chest area first now your abdomen you're unzipping it and your legs are stepping out of this your arms, your neck, and your head. You are releasing the second major focal point of fear energy within your field now. Take a deep breath, and you might want to give a little sound of uh, and while you are stepping out of this old skin, there's been such a wonderful image on the internet lately of saying, aren't you tired of this old skin? And it's this thick old zipper, thick costume. What a beautiful image. And here we are, full of light, little stars, and the firmament, the, Deanna calls it the spirograph of the grids, the toroidal little zero points, the zero points within these toroids of synchronized, absolutely blessed, perfected energy is now something that you are breathing in and you are accessing and your body of light with no outside protection or membrane is now fully pulsing, synchronizing and synapting with the universal grid of light that is present everywhere. So while the zero points of your heart, your new onboard mind element, and your physical body are all being woven into perfected alignment, we'll enjoy the gongs. Take a deep breath as you allow the circulation of this new liquid light to go through all of your arteries, all of your veins, right down into the cellular domain, into the atomic domain, so that all parts of you are recirculating with this liquid light.
So picture that these moving intulating toroidal grid structures, which have lacy like strings managing and working with them that are connected to other toroidal grids with zero points. And that all of this is simultaneously being connected to every part of you. It's like being brought back in to a waltz after years, a decade, maybe a lifetime of not dancing with the universal energies. Feel how delightful it is to move. Beautiful posture. Almost as if you yourself are part of the the macro and the micro you're dancing on a divine dance floor, but you're also the dance of the spheres going around the sun. Because all of these natural mathematical patterning ratios are the same when you are enjoying being present in the zero point. So just enjoy this absolutely wonderful wonderful feeling. Keep taking nice deep breaths. Enjoying this musical waltz. Seeing your shoulders and your hands bend to the delightful music. It is universal music that is perfect, devoid of human thought. You are happily floating along without the mind's grip, with no thoughts. It is so peaceful and so relaxing. All is well. Just allow yourself to be suspended in this moment now. No thoughts, no desires, no planning. Just being so peaceful. Just relaxing. Very nice. Now, you are feeling absolutely free, relaxed, and calm. You've shed everything. It's like your heart is immobile. 
and it's light and free. And it only responds to the resonance of love. Take a nice deep breath. And you are choosing love in every thought. And your mind has promised to be on board, to do not entertain any thoughts that are not saturated and holding love 1,000%. Today's the day. Deep breath, almost like beautiful peacock feathers are opening in your heart with all the colors of the rainbow. It's now safe to be you. It's safe for you to exude love in places that you weren't sure if it was safe to before. It's safe to be love everywhere now. We integrate all these zero points within our energetic field now. And we sit back down in that golden chair and the mind has gone back up into the, your head where it sits, calm, non-fear based. And your consciousness is wide awake, in full charge, and it is holding the zero point of divine love and nothing else ever again. And so it is. So very gently, we'll begin to bring our consciousness back here, which of course is wide awake, in charge, holding the wheel. <laughs> the boss of everything now, the nice boss, the one that people uh, want to trust and be near and help be a good leader because everybody wants more love. They'll choose you. If you're exuding that love, they'll choose you. Okay, so I'm going to go to gallery view. We're going to unmute everybody.